Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Uh, today is a much more broad 2020 prediction. This is 2020 if the economy crashes. Um, depression or recession, um, either way, but it's very clear the economy goes to crap. Now, the economy, in my opinion at least, is Donald Trump's strongest argument and his best point, if that makes sense. Um, if the economy's good, I give him a pretty decent shot at winning. If the economy's bad, this could turn out very bad for the Republican Party. So, let's get this started. Um, Colorado. I almost put it safe Democratic, I'll just put it likely. I'd put Nevada as oh, likely Democratic. Um, I might pull out the um, toss-up yellow, uh, depending on what I think of some of these states. Um, let's see here. <clears throat> Um, I'd give, I'd honestly still give Georgia to the Republicans. I think Georgia would be a very hard state for the Democrats to flip. I think Minnesota likely, I, I think the whole Rust Belt going Democrat would be very probable. That already gives the Democrats the win. Where can they expand on this lead? Um, Arizona, I think, could go. Uh, Iowa, I think, could go. New Hampshire. Oh, I don't want Vermont to move. New Hampshire, I think, could go. Stay Democratic. Maine second, I think, could go. Likely Democratic. I think Maine second district could go likely Democratic as well. Um, Let's see here. So I think I will pull out the toss-up yellow. Um, what states would be yellow? Texas um, would be a hard state to call. It could go for the Democrats if the economy tanks, but I still don't know if I'd be comfortable enough to call it for the Democrats right now. Florida will be a very tough state for the Democrats to get, will be my prediction, uh, for 2020, unless if something drastic happens. Um, Ohio, I think, would be another state. Trump's doing pretty all right there right now. Um, and I think even if the economy would crash, it could still be a very hard state for um, the Democrats to have. Um, there are two more. Um, state slash districts. Um, Nebraska second district. I will put lean oh, leaning into the Democratic column, and North Carolina. I would put leaning in the Democratic column. So I've called all but 85 electoral votes, all but three states: Texas, Florida, Ohio. But regardless, Democrats win in a race that wouldn't be super close. Um, we would know weeks, maybe even months beforehand, that it's not going to be close in all likelihood. Um, so thanks for watching this video. Comment down below what you think would happen. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also join us on the subreddit on r slash jpc reddit. Once again, thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.